what preventative measures can we take to prevent septic buildup and drainage issues? Flushable wipes are horrible for your plumbing system. No matter if they say they're flushable, they are horrible for your line. I know it feels good to use it, but it will cost you so much more when it finally clogs up your line. If you have to use them, just throw them in the trash. The garbage disposal does not mean that you should not put it in the trash, that you can run it through the garbage disposal. Two of the biggest things that will clog up your line and people don't realize it, I'm a fisherman. I love to fish. Shells from fish, when you scale the fish, will clog your drain. Potatoes will clog your drain. Potato skins will clog your drain. Um, pouring oil down your drain will clog your drain. Nothing really is supposed to go down your drain but water. So if you need to discard or you need to get a receptacle to put it in and dispose of it properly, not down the drain, and all food, if you know that you have to turn the garbage disposal on to get rid of the food, you probably should not be putting it in the sink. You should be putting it in the trash. When you're doing your hair, a good way to keep a lot of hair out of your drain, put a face towel in the drain. Unless you're washing it, you're just doing your hair. And don't rinse your hair down the drain because the hair is just going to get caught up on something. As it catches soap scum and everything else, it'll catch more and more debris. And then the next thing you know, you got this whole big funky thing going on. Um, the tub drain is kind of tricky. A lot of people have slow drainage of the tub for one simple thing is hair caught on the drain going out of the house. You can clean that out a few different ways. They have chemicals for it, or you literally can just reach your hand in there and pull it out. They also have little tools that are like sticks that have like abrasive catchers on it that you can stick down the drain that'll pull those hairs out. Those are like the small preventative things. Thank you for sharing those tips. Those little drainage snakes definitely save you, can save you a couple dollars. And also keeping the children out of the bathroom or unsupervised will definitely help and go a long way. Well, thank you for your time, Bernard. We really appreciate you sitting with us and giving us the tips and tricks of pre fall preventative maintenance and just sitting through this Q&A. For our homeowners, our prospect and potential clients, please visit acmhome.com for additional information or to request an RFP.